weirdest day of my life. I was Pretty like, this, yeah. He was wearing a button-up shirt, and he told me he I went, remember that. Yeah. I remember. That was a weird day. <laughs> it was felt like day. I was in a different dimension. <laughs> I remember everybody looked at him like, wait a minute. <laughs> I thought <laughs> he was going to pick Banjo for a second. Freaked me out. Speaking of the players that we did not see in year one of Ultimate here, year two, we are seeing more of Zenyu. Yeah, yeah, Zenyu's making a big comeback too. Yeah, we didn't see you year one of Ultimate, so now we're seeing you in year two, man. A lot of, a lot of things coming back in year two. True. I don't play them. I don't want to get. Don't, don't get me started though. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming like every once in a while. So how's that Doors Five going for you? Oh God! Don't, oh God! Oh God! <laughs> so many animations. All right, Zenyu, classic Mario, AC playing Snake now. Of course, uh, AC's roots also goes back as far as Brawl. He yeah. actually did use Snake in Brawl. Yep, that's against the players win again, so that's really cool to see. Makes you wonder what would have happened if Smash 4 Snake was in that game. Oh, you know? yeah. What if? But no one cares about Smash 4 anymore. <laughs> now we only care about Ultimate. So we, didn't care, we, we didn't care so much about Smash 4, we forgot about Evo 2018. That's how much we don't care about it. I don't know what you're talking about. Exactly. I don't remember that. I don't think we were at Evo in 2018, actually. <laughs> I agree with you, man. Never happened. It's an uh, anomaly. I'll tell you what's happening right now. 61%. I'm sorry, 69. Okay, AC wants to send you off the stage for a good reason. It really does. I don't know how this matchup goes. I feel like it can be a little rough for Mario because he doesn't have any range. Uh, he's got his little stubby limbs. But once he gets in, he's able to combo you. And, combo you. and he has a cape to deal with, like Nikita and stuff. So at least he can recover a lot better. Yeah. But, the uh, one thing he does have to is he, like he does like range, but like fireball and oh my Ooh, god, fireball is probably really good. Fireball and back air are the only two reliable resources for range that Mario has. All right. But all that being said, AC able to clean up the first stock and uh, just goes high. The only thing he has to really worry about here is up smash. He gets to the ledge safely. That was close. He does B reverses to get back to the, the stage. I like it. I love unnecessary things. <laughs> I mean, it actually wasn't unnecessary. It's, it's really good. I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of flashy points, man. I mean, definitely you get a little bit of momentum like, with the yeah. universe. I love everything flashy in this game. It's the only reason that I play the character. I'll never fault someone for doing pushing more buttons than they needed to. In 4 you used Falcon, man, and I, I that, was a, that was a tough life to live back then. Yeah, that's because... I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Anyways. No one, no one cares about Smash 4. <laughs> no one. Except Charlie the King. But yeah. Oh, and Sizzler. Completely oh, yeah, out there. Sure. People who are fans of Larry and Smash 4, they care. <laughs> yeah. I definitely miss that. Oh, well, he gets the back air. Unfortunately, and Mas I'm sorry, Zenyu. Can at least push a little bit of damage, but AC knows what he means. Oh, so He's close. not letting him land. I feel like that's uh, AC's play of the game here. Just don't let him land. Wow. Wow. That was an online excursion. That was. Hit, spot dodge, hit, spot dodge, hit, spot dodge. <laughs> I thought we were playing Wi-Fi for a second, too. Play. Such riveting gameplay from such top players, right? Yeah, exactly. But you have to respect AC for that too, because at that opportunity, right, like Zenyu is going to go for the best option that an opponent will be doing at disadvantage in the situation, yeah. and AC is like, you know what? Let me give him this and see how he reacts to it. I mean, spot dodge up tilt is absolutely insane for Snake too. The fact that you can cancel spot dodge into into, up -tilt. into Snake's up tilt is absolutely wild. So spot dodge canceling in general. <laughs> yeah, you can't really fault AC for for using that that much. Uh, AC's grenade play is amazing. That's yeah. what I've noticed uh, in the five minutes I've been watching. Minutes I've been watching. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if Nikita's worth it. Wow, never mind. I'm terrible, and he's a really good player. Uh, but in general, I don't think Nikita's worth it because he can just cave it. Yeah, you, know? you can. And, and, and that's one thing you're gonna have time. Yeah, he's stuck in the Nikita lag, and then Mario kind of gets back to the ledge for free. I feel like it's better to just set up the up smashes and grenades with the ledge and kind of let things explode. See what happens. Mario's coming back. Yeah. yeah. He's, he's coming back. Oh, no back air for AC there, but Mar instead, Zenyu gets the back air. Zenyu really needs his edge guard. He does. And he's not going to get it. It's a big reversal for AC. Yeah, he's doing it. You listen to me. <laughs> and it didn't work. Nice. Yeah, what do you do? I mean, if you roll left, you're going to get grenaded, probably. It's the way the AC covered it. I felt like he could have gone for a get up attack. That's yeah. the one thing that could have been different. Get up or neutral? Yeah. Well, actually, you don't run through people in this game, so no. actually, neutral get probably would have. Yeah, get up attack. <laughs> that was that was the one thing, but in that situation, right? Like, you know, get up attack if your opponent shields it, right? You yeah. do run the risk of the end lag from that. You could also just eat the grenade. I mean, the grenade's not going to kill you, so yeah. you could go left, you eat the grenade, but you're in a bad position. So AC played that really well. Yeah, that's one of the hardest setups to kind of like, especially in the moment, you have like a second to, to decide like, what yeah. to do. You know, it's not like you can sit there and like 
plan out everything that's happening. So really good stuff to AC for taking game one. Then he's got to make some adjustments. Doesn't choose to uh, change stages or anything, which I think is uh, actually a pretty good decision. Yeah. Because when we saw someone take Snake to a smaller stage, it actually didn't work at all. Yeah, and if you take Mario to anything else other than per se, yeah. Final Destination, you're not putting doing yourself any favors. Like, if you, if you initially think about it, it feels right to take Snake to a smaller stage, mm -hmm. but he's not like other zoners. He's not. He, you know. He's got the weight, the damage, the ability to camp you out, even in a small stage. And his, his projectiles don't linearly, like, horizontally come at you. He, he literally places them on the ground. Yeah. And, and if you go to something like Smashville, it's covering more of the stage. And, and, and you it's lose, true. like, the option to go to that side of the stage, basically. So, so you, yeah, you want a bigger stage to, like, kind yeah, of work around it, I too. I think it's actually better to take Snake to, like, bigger stages. Because even then, you could still, in the bigger stage you have, you can walk around, look at the way that Zinni's playing now, right? Yeah. He's kind of stalling himself using Fireball because he knows he has a grenade cook, waited out for like a few frames, which but is he two seconds. is still behind. Yeah, he is. <laughs> 136? AC's, like I said, his grenades are just so tricky. Um, he's almost hardly used C4 at all. It's mostly yeah. been grenade plays in neutral, and they've been working out really well. Nice. Puts him with the up air, though. Only 45%. That's one Mario graph. Or half of a Zenny grab. <laughs> that, is, that is actually half of a Zenny grab. Especially yeah. when that Zenny works with him. Oh, he tried to go for down but AEC was holding that grenade for the last second. That's the difficult thing about like fighting state too, is like he pulls everything in the textbook <laughs> to throw at you, and yeah. you're like, yo man, can I just have an opportunity where I hit you or I don't have to worry about it? Just stop holding grenades. For, yeah. Like two seconds. <laughs> stop pressing the B button, man. And play the game! <laughs> Snake doesn't play the game, man. Snake plays his own game. He does. He really is. He doesn't even play his own game. He's supposed to be like a stealth operative, and he just has grenades and explosions in here in this game? He can't really be a stealth operative in Smash. It doesn't work. Doesn't. What are they going to do? Like, make him invisible? Imagine a, imagine them putting a move in the game where it makes you invisible. They would <laughs> never do that, right? <laughs> no, they could they never. never. They would never do that. Even if it's just a chance of making you invisible, they would never. Oh, no. Heaven, no. Hocus Pocus. <laughs> That's another oh, no, story. The there. Then you slowly make it a comeback as long as he doesn't get up tilted here or you know blown up by one of the millions of grenades that AC pulls. Take a shot every time AC pulls a grenade. Oh, you would be walking around. Take two shots every time he B reverses you. Here it comes. <laughs> no living person oh, will survive finally that. Finally getting hit by the, the C4 there. Yeah, man. Then you. I feel like if this was a if this was a best of five. Whoa! Oh, I thought it killed. If this was a best of five, I think Zinni would be a little bit more favored because he would have more time to figure out the patterns of the grenade. Yeah. But this being a best of three looks really rough. He just doesn't get time to figure out everything. And even though that Zinni and Key are from the same region, it's been a minute since Zinni has fought Key. Yeah. And I know that Key also uses Snake, but he plays Snake very differently as well, too. Right. So that kind of lets you know, like, okay, Zinni knows this is a Snake of a different breed. Even though he's the same as Key using Snake, he plays very differently. That is actually true about Snake. Snake is, um... I feel like a lot of characters in this game you can play kind of differently from each other, but Snake really allows you to show your creativity and some freedom. Yeah. Uh, within like what projectiles you decide to use and how you play neutral and stuff. How so, you edge guard in general too as well. Yeah, like two snakes can be very different. Got here. Ooh, big Nair. That's so much damage. That Nair put him in kill percent. This for Zenyu trying to throw out an aerial. I don't know if I just, uh, slow or easy is picking up the lead. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Yeah, he DI'd straight up, too. There was uh, no chance. AC 